Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Brandy Curran. I'm a former professional athlete, keynote speaker, author, and a personal development coach. And I have a very special guest with me today. Eliana Curran, and I'm 11 years old, and um, I love to play soccer. Awesome. And Eliana is also my daughter, my one and only. And today we're gonna to be reading a book we wrote together a few years ago called, What Does It Take to Be a Star? So are you ready? Let's get into it. What Does It Take to Be a Star? By Rennie Curran and Eliana Curran. There once was a young boy who dreamed of becoming famous. What would it take to be a star? He wondered. One day he came up with a plan. I will visit all the famous people I look up to the most and ask them what it takes to be a star. On Monday, he went to a football game. The stadium was filled with excited fans. He watched in awe as his favorite player scored again and again. Touchdown! The announcer yelled as the crowd erupted in cheers. At the end of the game, the boy saw the football player signing autographs. What does it take to be a star? He asked. The football player looked at the boy with excitement and said, Meet me here tomorrow morning and I will show you. On Tuesday morning, the boy met him bright and early at the stadium. This time, no one was there. The football player looked at the young boy and said, in order to be a star, you must work hard when nobody is watching. The boy thanked the football player for his time and continued on his journey. In the evening, the boy visited a concert and was blown away by the singer who left the crowd amazed with her voice. Can any of you guys sing out there? At the end of the concert, he saw her standing by her tour bus, taking pictures with fans and asked, what does it take to be a star? She looked at him with a smile while she wrote an address on a piece of paper. Then she said, meet me at my studio. The boy arrived at the studio to find the singer inside and waiting for him. She, she seemed exhausted from the, from the long performance. In a calm voice, she said, in order to be a star, you must practice self-control. As a musician, learning to control your tone is very important. You must know when to use your outside voice and when to use your inside voice. Good job. You have to know when to use your inside voice and your outside voice. You want to be a star. On Wednesday, the boy went to visit his favorite doctor. I know many of you don't like going to the doctor. That's, that's okay. So he went to the favorite doctor for a checkup. He was the most well-known doctor in the city. The waiting room was filled with sick people in need of help. And he thought to himself, everyone is here to see the doctor. I guess he is kind of famous too. The boy watched as the doctor greeted everyone with a smile and did his best to help each one of them. Shout out to all the doctors and nurses out there, by the way. So when it was his turn to visit the doctor, he asked him, what does it take to be a star? The doctor looked at the boy with joy in his eyes and said, well, I'm not sure I am, well, I'm not sure I'm one, but if I had to guess, I'd say to be a star, you must be respectful and caring towards others. Awesome, yes. Respectful and caring towards others if you want to be a star. We have a lot of doctors and nurses and a lot of first responders that are being very respectful and caring towards others right now and saving a lot of lives. On Thursday, 
The boy visited the local fire station and the firefighters were busy preparing to put out a fire. He followed their truck to see them in action. After they put out the fire, the boy followed them back to the fire station and asked, what does it take to be a star? One firefighter replied, in order to be a star, you must be willing to serve others and think of others before you think of yourself. So important. So to be a star, you must think of others before you think of yourself. You have to be a servant. On Friday, the boy visited an art show to see the most famous artists in the city. The audience was amazed by the beautiful artwork he created. The boy waited patiently to speak to the artist. After everyone was gone, he asked, what does it take to be a star? The artist quickly responded, my dear boy, to be a star, you must understand that every masterpiece takes time. I've never really thought about that before, the boy said as he thanked the artist for his time. Awesome. So to be a star, you have to be patient. Achieving your dreams takes lots of time, effort, practice, and much more. On Saturday, the boy visited his favorite comedian. The comedian was performing a show and told jokes until everyone had tears in their eyes from laughing so hard. We have any comedians out there? All right. After the, co uh, after the comedy show, the boy asked, what does it take to be a star? The comedian looked at him and said, to be a star, you must be able to be happy and laugh even when no one is laughing with you. That must be very hard, the boy noted as he went on his way. So to be a star, you have to have a positive attitude. So it's not just about laughing when everybody else isn't laughing with you, but it's about maintaining a positive attitude even when life is tough, even when life is hard. On Sunday, the boy made his way over to a marathon race to catch a very popular runner. Anybody out there pretty fast? She was very famous and had just won a gold medal. If anyone knows what it takes to be a star, she will, he concluded. When the boy saw her, he asked, what does it take to be a star? The runner was out of breath, but looked at the boy and said, in order to be a star, you must be able to run towards your dreams one step at a time, no matter how long it takes. You just keep putting one foot in front of the other. The boy left wondering whether he had what it would take to become a star. Great job. So be a star. You have to be able to run towards your dreams. You have to have perseverance. It had been a long week. The sun was beginning to set and the stars began to shine. He looked up and saw the biggest star in the sky. At that moment, he realized a star is already a star. It doesn't need to figure out how to become one and it doesn't need permission to shine. Perhaps, he thought to himself, a star is not some, something I should hope to became, become. Maybe it's something I already am. The boy began to shout with excitement. I am a star, I am a star. But thanks to his journey, he now understood he would have to shine bright for the world to see him, and that was something he was going to have to work very hard to achieve. So you have to believe that you are a star. You have exactly what it takes inside you to be special, but you have to have that self-confidence and believe in yourself and back that up with your actions. You are a star. How will you shine brightly for the world to see you? The end. 
I hope you all enjoyed the book. Once again, Rennie Kern and Eliana Kern. And if you'd like to get a copy of this book, you can visit our website. It goes by my name, ReniKern.com. And also, if you order it, you'll get a special gift that comes along with the book, which is the Star Pledge Card. And on this pledge card, the first thing is the actual pledge. So it's a pledge that you make to yourself to become a star. You want to read it? Really? Sure. The star, the star student pledge card. I promise to work uh, hard even when nobody, nobody is watching. watching. To have self-control self and know when to use, use my inside voice and outside voice. To, to be respectful and caring towards, towards others. To serve others whenever they need, need my help. To be patient and wait for my turn. To have a positive attitude. To run towards my dreams. To have confidence and believe in myself. I am a star. So you're going to sign that pledge. And you're going to post it on your refrigerator, in your room. So you can look at it every single morning when you wake up. And on the back of the pledge card is actually a goal sheet. So you're going to write down what you want to be when you grow up. It says, I want to be a blank when I grow up. So you're going to fill that in, whether you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, an athlete, whatever you're going to be, want to be, you're going to fill that out. And then at the bottom, it says, I will become a star and shine brightly by achieving these goals. So you're going to write down three goals that you're going to achieve that are going to help you become that star that you want to become in life. So we hope that we'll be able to uh, send you a copy of this. Uh, for anybody out there who's going through tough times, we encourage you to just stay positive, to believe in yourself, to know that you have amazing things in store for you. So from Rennie Curran and Ileana Curran, we want to say thank you so much for listening and God bless.